got some opalescence to it. Here's a little earring bottom probably, or either a pendant. There's a little red stone in the middle and the red bead up there. There's another tangle earring that I probably have a match right here. That was easy. So there's my match. And here is an earring back that I'll keep. Might find out what it goes to. Here's that pearl that broke off that earring. These are probably going to that that was going in the craft lot. Unless it can be fixed and look presentable. These are pretty little earrings. And I know I have to match that. I have to go through and match all my stuff up. Here's a cute little necklace that has an earring attached to it that I know I have a match to. Because I said it looked like a pair. Let's see if I have it hanging. No, so I can't find it fast. There it is. Here's the other little pear shaped. It's that brush gold metal. Great shape. Here is, I think it's nice if Goodwill's going to send you a stack like this that you got to untangle and clean and that they leave it a lot, they leave the stuff in there, not try to pick out the good stuff and then leave you with a bunch of stuff to go through that it takes all the fun out of it when they do that. Look at that, look at the lacy, look on that bead. That's very pretty. I like silver jewelry. Seventieth medal. Two twenty seven nineteen. I don't know what that means. Is there a medal in here? Here's a clutch. Pen. It's an accordion. It's a, a little, what do you call those that you play, you know, with the keys here and you go it back and forth. That's cute. Here's another one of these. I know I've got another one of these. I like the way the black is in here and the wire and the little flowers. That's nice to stack. Oh, look at the flag. That's a pretty cool one. That one's made with, uh, feels like some kind of resin. I haven't seen one like that before. Here's another little matching hair clip from earlier. Whew. This is tortoise. Pretty. It's got. Let's see if it's got anything. It's fossil. Y'all can see that. And it's tortoise color. It's really pretty. I guess this is the latch. I'm not sure how it latches. Does it move? I don't know, and I'm not going to mess with it because I don't know what I'm doing. But this is a... I thought that said F on there for a minute. A fossil. <laughs> that does. I hate it when I can't figure things out. But I will work with that and figure that one out. I'm not going to try it online because I don't want to break it. Here's a pretty little brushed metal dangle earring. Oh, and I don't recall finding one like that either. Because I would remember the bling. It's unusual.
Oh my. Another shower thing, guys. If you can see me unraveling this stuff. They hook on everything. Probably have about 10 or 12 of those things now. Oh, I love that. Almost looks like 18 karat gold. It's so gold colored. Let's see it if it's marked. It's got a very long um, hook on it. I don't see anything. That's such a rich, buttery, 18 karat look to that. But it's magnetic, but gosh, that's pretty. I think I have the match to that too. I think it fooled me before. That's gotta be good if it fools you, right? Here's some creamy, goldish, colored uh, wrap bracelet, pearls and fasted beads. Very pretty. Beautiful color. It's another charm. Clip. And that's an amber colored faceted glass bead. I don't know, I keep pulling this out thinking, well maybe if I pull it out a little further it'll become untangled. Ha uh ha. -huh. Not hardly. Uh-huh. I see a culprit. Get these little earrings out of here. They cause a lot of problems. Now, where'd it go? Well, it's hiding from me now. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Didn't hide too far. Fisher of Man. It's the back. Needs cleaning. <laughs> and then you get these multi strand, multi layered necklaces, and they kind of go crazy. It's hard to get them. Well, that didn't work out too well. Yeah, that's going to cause me trouble here. And these. These are another one that cause these strings. They wrap around all beads. and <coughs> See, that came out pretty easy. But that other stuff, not so much. Okay, yes, that is a part of it. So you start out with your lobster claw, you've got a nice big chain, and it gets bigger with three other chain, two other chains, she's smaller, gives you that layered look, trying to make sure I don't have any earrings attached here, got your crosses, these pretty beads, blues and um, citrine looking and uh, blue topaz looking and, and opalescent looking. Very pretty necklace. Pretty beads, pretty charms. Give me all a better, slower look. This little necklace, snake chain, these little hearts. I have no idea if any of this is sterling silver. We can check it with uh, the magnet. It's not magnetic, so it could be silver. It's one to check. It's a pretty very pretty. I love the chain here. 
and the thin wire, and then the little orange stones. That's a nice layering one. It's good for layering. Oh gosh, sorry guys, I hope you didn't hear that. A Yuki, but he can't help it. Bless his heart. Well, I think I need some coffee. This is pretty. It's got the um, clasp there. Well, that's the back. It's in good shape. It's triple chained. And then you have these stations. Let's turn this the right way so that it shows you correctly. Love these stations. Kind of look like gold nuggets in there. See that? Isn't that beautiful? It has this nice chain. That's nice. It's, the metal's nice on that. It's in good shape. That's a vintage piece. I like that. it easy. There we go. There we go. A little flip-flop necklace for the beach. Oh. Summer dress when it's hotter than you know. You don't want to wear much um, jewelry because it's so hot. Or you can craft that. Put that in a craft lot. Kind of cute. I could see it in the beach thing. Oh, look at the little pelican stick pen. That's adorable. Yeah, there's nothing on the back. Isn't he cute? Some more bangles. The layering. Look at here, y'all. And this is probably why I got the whole necklace. I mean, the whole bag. I probably saw this in the picture. And it's got all these little mother of pearl dyed chunks. That's so cute. It's a little lobster claw class. I just don't have it snapped. I got my owl. Well, and he's long, so I can wrap. If I want to wear him shorter, I will wrap him around my neck. But he's cute. He's fancy. He's dressed up. Summer. Adorable. Oh, let me put that over there for my collection. Oh, I like these. This has got a lobster claw clasp, so it must be newer. Though, it, to me, this doesn't appear to be newer beads, so maybe they just changed out the class. Those are pretty pearls. It looks vintage, although it has a lobster claw class. Let's see. What do we have here? I like black and cream, very classic together. Put 
And then uh, this is kind of chip cut though. It's unfortunate. Beads are nice. It's a um, box clasp. Here's the uh, box clasp, and it goes in there like that. It's got a nice clip there with a pearl here, probably. I would find something else to put on that, because that's really pretty. These uh, beads feel cold, too. So those are nice beads, good beads. earring. Here's another little earring. Glass. And this is the Roman. The other Roman earring. I know I had the match. See my glass wasn't big enough for me to hang everything so I didn't hang it all and now it's getting harder to find them. Here's the match. And they're kind of look like either a black or a blue. I'm not real sure. I want to say they have a blue tint to them. Very dark, like a royal rich blue. <coughs> if you had better lights, you probably could see. Here is the apple. Here's a cute little flower earring. Here's the back. Ooh, here's another ring. And this is another Ann Taylor. So there were a lot of Ann Taylor rings in here. Not a lot, maybe three or four. No shortcut in this stuff, man. You just gotta go with the flow. What? Comes undone. You want to look at other things, but you can't because they're tangled. So you got to go with that with that will untangle first to get to the one you really want to look at. This is your lobster claw class. This is in great shape. The metal is. Looks like stainless steel. And then here's your pretty necklace. I like that. I tend to wear more silver jewelry than I do gold. I guess because of my dark hair and... Oh, wow. Okay, I'm in heaven now. Look at that. This is an amber bracelet, the different colors of amber. Is that not gorgeous? Here's the lobster claw. There's the extender on it. I'm sure this is silver. I bet you it's silver. And that is fantastic. Let's see if this is marked. Yes, I can see the marking. I'm going to loop it. Yep. This is Mark 925. My hands are dirty from the jewelry, guys. I do wash my hands. And it is not sticking. I'm excited. Never expected to get this jewelry in the slot. I'm just thrilled. Thrilled. This is an older piece, I bet. There's the pearl. It's kind of worn. And it's tagged. John Wind. W-I-N-D. John Wind. 
I don't know that person. I mean, I don't know that designer. But the pearl didn't quite make it. I have to look him up because I just want to know anyway. Here is a pretty earring. It's dead. Fasted acrylic. Might better take a break and get me some coffee, even though I'm about done. I just feel the need for some coffee. Because I'm going to have to go through all this stuff and decide what, how to place it and so I can list it. And that says love. Love is always the answer. If you have a question, love is always the answer. If you have a challenge in life, love will get you through it. Even though you may not think so. Here's the lobster claw and the extender. You've got some metal wear through here, so I know this is not silver. Okay, here's another one. It's got your spring ring clasp. These need cleaning. I think they will shine, shine. But there's something missing here. Because you've got this dangle that has three, and you have this dangle that's missing a dangle. I would take it off. I may take them all off on that. I don't know. And there's probably another one in there. If you had another one with the proper number of dangles, you could make an earring that dangled and then just have the necklace without any dangles on it. Here's a little French hook with the red bead. Little peace sign, Aeros bottle, 1987. I know I pronounced that wrong, didn't I? Oh, Lordy. Sometimes I'm bad with my words. If I did, I apologize. If I offended anybody, I apologize. <clears throat> I made you cringe when I said that, I apologize. Here's a little locket. That's sweet. Little post earring. Here's the other little cross with the fissure. And there's the match to it. So I'll put that in my earring match. Party is almost over. I'm getting down. Getting down to the bottom of the bag. What lies at the bottom? <laughs> it's a movie, I think, that's called that. What lies at the bottom? And I think it's a scary movie, too. You guys like scary movies? I love scary movies. I watch them all the time. Not around my grandkids. They, none of them like it. So I'm the only one. Hubby watches them with me. He likes more like action and war movies and stuff like that. But then I watch those with him. Oh, look at that. That's a vintage. That's very pretty. I love vintage pieces like this. And these stones are blue. I love really light blue. You may not be able to tell that on this camera. Oh, and it's got string or hair or something. I like that. It's a nice vintage brooch. I think 
think I got it while I was trying to untangle this thing. You guys talk to yourself when you're opening up these things. These large ones. Here's a spring ring clasp. And there's your double strand. I am very much an introvert. I need that downtime or long time or whatever. But all my life I've worked in jobs which required me to be an extrovert. So, um, it's funny, sometimes I can get up in front of a crowd and talk and it doesn't bother me. Or one to one. And then sometimes I just want to run. It's kind of crazy. Here's a pretty double chain necklace with a spring ring clasp, so this is probably vintage. And it's got a nice, it's got hair. It's got a lot of hair. Somebody with white hair. And there's your tassel. It's a pretty design. Kind of looks a little futuristic. Ooh, this is pretty. It's done in a silver tone and and um, it's got a tag. Tag is best. Best has really um, shiny jewelry. But this, my dear, there we go. There's the toggle. You got two places to toggle. And then you have the um, silver and the gold. That's pretty. It's in great shape. Here's a sweet little heart necklace with a red flower for the month of birthstone of July. I don't have any granddaughters with the birthstone of July, but I do have a great grandson. His first stone is the ruby. Oh, here's another one of those necklaces. I mean, those bracelets. This one has the heart. It's going to be cool. I can't wait to get all those together and layer them up and see what it looks like. Here's a nice chain that doesn't have a pendant to it. It's on a lobster claw and it's got an extender. Y'all not seeing what I'm doing here? Or you just see it in my hand? Here, it's a snake chain light. It's probably magnetic. Here's a little earring that was stuck to my magnet. No, it's not. It's interesting. Hmm. It's another tester. Oh, here's the other earring to that necklace. Yeah. That. Oh, look how dirty my fingers are. Wow, isn't that attractive? I do need to go wash my hands and make coffee. There you go, there's the set. I like to keep those together. And when I do, I just take the post and I stick them through the extender here. Oh, not extended. Don't you get stuck in here? What? How does that happen? You can't come out. You got in and you can't come out. Well, I got you out. Stick these guys right in there, and you won't be getting stuck in there again. So. 
course this will have to be cleaned. There we go. Well, we know this is magnetic. This looks like copper and silver and brass. It's not real, um, copper, silver, and brass. It's got some kind of base metal that's like a magnetic. Here's your lobster claw. Here's your chain. Well, this is all tangled up on this. And these, these little earrings, these match this. These match this necklace. It has the little pearls there. There's your clasp. I don't know if that's marked or not. No, no, it's not marked. Now, I don't know if I can get it untangled from this silliness. Yes, I can. Oh, and look, it's got a little dangle bead. Almost looks like a little pineapple. That's adorable. Somebody made that, I bet. And they did such an excellent job. Too bad they didn't have a little tag. They even beat at the end there. And if I could find those little rubbery things. This is not rubbery, let's see if it works. I can stick them on like that. Not sure where the other one is, though. But I know I have it. I have it somewhere. I'll look for it in a minute. I won't tie y'all up with that. Well, we're getting there. To the one I want to see. I can get this out of here. Oh, good. Here's that other long 